Good afternoon. We are here at Capitol Reef National Park today. Super excited. We have an epic adventure going up to Cassidy Arch. Not only are we going to visit the arch, but Spencer and I are going to rappel through the arch and down Cassidy Arch Canyon. So really looking forward to this great time. This is a beautiful place. I actually started my YouTube career here a long time ago, going right up here and up to Fern's Nipple. I'll post that video. It, it's a, one of my favorite hikes in all of Utah, if that's saying anything. So we are stoked, really glad to have Spencer with me today. Elected to do a little spring break desert adventure. So excited for you to join us. We will see you on the trail. Dude, I love these stairs. Well, we have gotten to a pivotal point. We kind of come around a corner and then Cassidy Arch and beautiful cliffs come into view. So really excited now. And then the canyon is basically below us, somewhere around there. So lots to look forward to. Really going big. she blows. Only a half mile to go. Alright, Spencer has found the anchors, not the tree behind him but the obvious set of chains. And it looks like a fair bit of down from there. Like all the way down. And all we do is the overhand death knot right here. All right, popping it in, locked and loaded, ready to go, pretty intense. There goes the anchor. And this is stepping into the abyss right here.
Spencer's pulling the rope now. And there are some pretty bad grooves, which kind of make me nervous. You can see them in there. But I think we're going to be okay. All right, Spencer's just cleaning up a little here. And the eagle has landed. And it landed from way up there. Really a beautiful cavern as well as rappel. There I go. Rope! There is the hole and the arch above. And if you look close, there's the tourists watching our little show. Here we are, rappel number two. This is another long one, a double rope rappel. I think it was like 80 meters. And this is the scene back behind. I could see somebody's rope got stuck in there. Wow. Awesomeness. Another epic cavern right here. Nice bra. Woo. Some actual climbing. Oh shit. Okay, so Spencer's getting ready for rappel number three after only like a 40 yard walk. And then if you look down, there's another really short rappel just downstream. Nice. Just a little one there. Wow, cool. Crash landing. Oh yeah. Swing around. Oh big. Kind of special with this little natural bridge. Another baby repel. There he goes. Magical. <laughs> Oh, I don't know how you're gonna fit through here, Spencer. <laughs> so you can see Spencer in the natural arch right behind him. Ooh, rapid fire repels here. And this one's kind of a bitch. Spencer is handling it better than I did. But it's really narrow, and having a backpack on is probably not the best thing. And I shredded mine, so there's that. But he's doing pretty well. All right, just a very short walk again. And it looks like Spencer has found yet another rappel. So this is barely any, I don't know, walking into a ton of rappelling. And here we go. Woo. Take a shoot through a little hole down there. Oh, and there's the improvised failed ascent route, that little bridge. All right, so just another 45, 50 yards. And Spencer's again unfurling the canyon snake. Off this anchor we'll go. Another outrageous rope toss through the arch hole. Nice. And we will live to see another day. It's the bridge right behind me. And then down below too. Go for it, man. Whoa. So cool. Just swing off that edge. Kaka! Bro. All right, 
right, so the next drop, you actually go up these carved stairs. And then if you look close, there's actually a cable right there next to Spencer and a, hopefully a rappel anchor. Yikes. We'll definitely test the water before you commit to that thing. So here we go for this. Ooh, oh, good thing they carved this little handhold in. Oh, Sandy? I'm a little more dubious about the structural integrity of the actual bridge. Dude, step on the joist. Yeah, that's it. God, dude, it already did break, you see there. Are you sure you want that? Oh, piece of cake. Wow. Look at this. And there's the bridge right up there. And there goes Spencer. So here's the number seven or eight repel. Sure you're locked and loaded, my friend? Okay. Beautiful scene. Break in, yeah. And you can see these carved steps. And then if you look down, I guess they went down this tree because the steps just end. So I'll use the rope. All right, so from the last repel, I guess we just go through here. Here you go, Spencer. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. It's like the land of the lost in here. Probably some bad poop. Whoa, huge cave. All right, I think the technical events, namely eight repels is over. And that was a lot of repelling, barely any walking. Really cool, beautiful place. I was surprised at just how awesome the hike up was, let alone the adventure going down, which was fairly technical, but good anchors, national park security, and still stunningly beautiful. And just a little down climb into the Grand Wash and back to the parking lot. So if you can do repels, I strongly recommend this trip. A lot of fun. Although you will have the peanut gallery when you're starting, because there will be a giant horde of people just watching you. And that worked out fine. And actually, they could have been helpful, so pretty cool. And that's it right back behind me. I would say Capitol Reef delivered in a big way. And that felt like a pretty safe and fun canyon to do. I'd say beginner friendly with competent leadership. All around, beautiful. Highly recommended and well trafficked, so safer as well. Hopefully you enjoyed that adventure. See you on the next one. So we met some fellow canyoneers doing their own trip and they offered to shuttle us back to our car. Gotta love that, birds of a feather. So kind of a nice icing to the cake because we were getting sandblasted by passing vehicles. So anyway, beautiful day. Well, I would try to get here early for obvious reasons. Although everyone we met was great, including the guys driving us back. <laughs> Especially them. <laughs>